Hey guys, Pete with Mixcat Computers. Um, as you can see here, this is our reflow area. We got the uh, dark IR reflow station and a hot air station with soldering iron. This thing has been used probably for the past two years, used and abused, probably thousands of times. Um, here's an example of some of the work we do. This is actually from a GPS and a uh, car stereo. We take off the video chips and we replace them and we use the dark IR reflow station for that. We also use the hot air and um, DIY outlet actually sent us a new station to review so you guys will have the opportunity to check that out. Here's a shot of the new unit. There's the instruction manual. It came really fast from DIY um, outlet and I'm really excited to start using this thing. I'm going to go ahead and pull this apart and show you how it works and give you a quick review but overall the actual weight of this you can feel how heavy it is versus my old unit it's probably twice the weight so probably got a really good power supply in there it comes with all the attachments we got the iron hot air it's got a little holster for it pretty neat. Let me go ahead and set that up and I'll show you guys how that looks. Now the first thing I noticed was actually this holster for the soldering iron. This is metal. It's really, really nice and solid. Um, the unit we had before actually is plastic and we're going on just over two years with this unit and it's falling apart. You can see it's got a lot of use on it and plastic obviously has its issues. This is going to be a really nice upgrade. But you know, right out of the gates I could see the quality is a lot better than the, the other unit I have. Okay, we're going to try out the hot air. I got it at 350 degrees. Crank them up. I put one of the uh, restrictors on. And I'm going to take off that component right there on the board. Let's see how long it takes to come up to temperature. There she is. Man, this is a really, really nice unit. My old unit would take some time to come up to temperature. You've seen it from cold. I'm going to put that component back down. I'm going to put this component back down. There she goes. Awesome. Very, very powerful. If you guys are looking for a really nice rework station, this also has the ability to uh, suck away the fumes while you're soldering. That's what the tube is on the top. It also says it desolders, and i got to figure that out. But yeah, that's the desolder chamber as well as your tip. And again, it's a, a metal case, so it's really, really nice and solid. Definitely lasts you a long time. You can see the temperature's going down, so it's cooling down the unit to make sure that you don't have an accident and to keep that element in good condition. Really, really top quality. It comes with these attachments here. And on the DYI store, I think it was $159, well worth the money. The other unit that I have on the side here, this guy was about the same price. It's a lot lighter. I had one before it. This one actually lasted me almost two years. Definitely got my money's worth out of it. It's got a hot air, also a soldering iron, and you can see it's the quality is just not the same with the plastic receptacle. It's worked okay for us, but it does take a while to come up to temperature. This is just going to be overall a huge improvement for us. I really appreciate it. See how quick it comes up to temperature. You can't beat that, guys. That's absolutely amazing. Real time. The solder, soldering iron, actually the same. You watch him come up to temperature. Incredible. 
so you're not wasting electric letting it sit here coming up to temperature. Turn it on when you need it, shut it off when you're done. The other thing is we let it sit for a couple minutes and it shut itself off, so it's got a nice power save feature. And I'll show you guys how this fume guard actually works, the smoke absorber. I'm going to turn on the soldering iron. I'm at uh, 325 to watch it come up to temperature. I'm going to turn the smoke absorber on. Actually, I'll leave it off, then I'll turn it on and show you guys the difference. and get this in the, in the video. I'm going to zoom in here. All right, I'm going to hit the, the solder on the tip, and you can see the smoke is streaming away. So that's something we typically end up breathing in. Let's put the smoke absorber. With the absorber on, look at that. That's worth the money right there. You're not breathing in all those chemicals. Makes it a much safer experience. Hopefully you guys are getting a good shot of that. Isn't that amazing?